Now we're told that the teacher worked out that the lower quartile Q1 say was 15.8 and the upper quartile Q3 was 29.3 and we're asked to describe the skewness of the data here. And to do that I'm calling back what we found out in the previous part the median. We found out Q2 was 23.7 and what I'm going to consider is a box plot. You should be familiar with box plots. They look something like this. And they've got whiskers at the ends here. But what we're interested in is this value here, which is Q1. And Q1 we see is 15.8. Q3 is 29.3. If I mark that in, 29.3. And Q2. 23.7 can you see is going to be most probably somewhere to the right of center. Let's mark that in as Q2 23.7 and what we've got here is that this width going from Q1 to Q2 you can see is greater than this width here from Q2 to Q3 and when this happens when this width is greater than this width we've got what we call negative skew. If it were the other way around, this width being greater than this, it would be positive skew. But we've got to really show this, and so I would encourage you to write down what Q2 minus Q1 is. That will give us the width of this, 23.7 in other words, minus 15.8. And that turns out to be 7.9. When you work out this width, Q3 minus Q2, Q3 minus Q2, well, that's going to be 29.3 minus 23.7. And that turns out to be 5.6. So we can say that, therefore, Q2 minus Q1 is greater than Q3 minus Q2. So, therefore, this implies that we've got negative skew.